So, Mr. Ranganathan, this is a very interesting times. And uh, when you began business, the scenario was different. In 2003, in 1993, when the policies changed, the scenario was different. And today, the scenario is different. How do you see your business growing in the current scenario as an entrepreneur? Uh, thank you, Mr. Rajesh, first of all, for this opportunity. I also would like to take this opportunity to thank Hamachandran. Thank you. And uh, Network 18, all. Uh, Currently, I think uh, we had last year, we had a demonetization and such kind of hurdles. Uh, but despite that, I must say that we are growing very well in terms of uh, growth is not an issue. Even last year was not an issue also. So we have been doing uh, better than the industry is what I must say that we are growing at uh, about 20 percent growth rate. Fantastic. Your expansion plans are global. You are already in more than 19 countries. Yeah, how yeah. do you take it forward and how do you take it faster? I actually, I think uh, we have a global team who will go and appoint distributors in different countries. And that's the first uh, way that we go and seed the countries. So once we know that the product starts picking up, and we take special care in countries which are high potential, we do marketing, and then eventually also start doing our own distribution. How can you speed up the process if you want to reach faster? Because we have got more than 200 countries, and you want to become same or bigger than an HUL or a Procter & Gamble. How do you do that? Yeah, that's correct. It is uh, the best way to speed up the process is you have to have a structure by which you have people across the continents. So you create an office and structure which where you can sustain and build uh, across the country. So Africa, that means Africa itself, East Africa, South Africa, like that you can split and appoint country managers and link up to that as a structure whom they report to kind of this thing. So North America, US, and all, all kind of these things. You have to have country managers through which the kind of this thing. As an entrepreneur, you're a student of chemistry. You're in a similar line of business. What is your strong point? Are you good in product creation, product identification, demand and market supply, distribution network, finance management? What has been your strength? People management. And how do you identify those people? People identification, I think it's, uh, it comes over a period of time. Mm, one of the important thing is we recruit uh, people for attitudes. Uh, it's, that's a very important thing. If you ask me what's the reason for our success, it is the culmination of collective attitude of a strong team. How are you different from the other employers? How are you different? How do you retain them? No, no, there has to be some magnet. Yeah, yeah, I'll just answer this. So we said we will recruit someone who got internally recognized and promoted in a company. So one promotion, two promotion, three, mo three promotions, the more longevity in a company is a very strong candidate for us. So instead of paying 10%, 20% premium, say we said we will go up to even 40% premium also. It's not an issue. So the company should not, should feel that I am losing a very good candidate. So that's the kind of thing that is very important for us. So how do you poach good people from your competition? So it's very important. Look at candidates who got multiple promotion within short span of time. They are stalwarts. Very simple. So which is one of the important things. Initially, when you started your business, you struggled to get your first 25,000 rupees loan from the bank. It took you three years. Later on, those banks started giving you more and more money. What is your financial management strategy as on date? So our financial management strategy is get things on credit, sell on cash. <laughs> Fantastic. In your last almost three and a half decades of doing business, you changed the name of the company thrice. What's the reason for that? So uh, as we go forward, first it was Chick India. And then we later named it as Beauty Cosmetics. Chick India was a partnership company. When we wanted to make it a private limited company, then made it uh, Beauty Cosmetics Private Limited. We wanted to go beyond shampoos and cosmetic products. So we are today in milkshakes, pickles, and so on. So if I introduce pickle in beauty cosmetics, people think, what is that beauty cosmetics and pickle to do? So we wanted to have a neutral name. So that's how we came with the, this thing of Kevin Care. You have got private, e private equity investments in your enterprise currently? No. Private they were to invest or they, they, you they, exited them? They exited them. You exited them. So when you got them invested on board, what was your pitch to them? My pitch was that we will grow well. 
So that was a pitch that we offered them that they are they also will get a very good return on investment. Very important. Anybody would look at whether the company will grow and what is the kind of return they will get. We guaranteed them some minimum level of return, and of course we we asked for a five-year time. We delivered it in four years. And what is the next step of uh, finance management? Will you go onto a bigger platform to raise funds, or how are you going to take your next growth? I think probably we, the next platform uh, way out for us is to go in public. So, so generally, when companies uh, raise money from private equity, the general exit for them is at the IPO level. So you pre-exited them. Was there a specific reason for that? I think it was convenient to them as well as to us. We had cash. So then when they also were looking at an option to exit, we said, fine, we will we'll offer them the kind of You have acquired a couple of clients, especially in the food sector and the other sectors. How good are you at acquisition? How do you make a decision? How do you make a judgment? And how do you calculate on that? I won't say we are uh, very good uh, in terms of... Uh, All those bought, uh, who we, are bought we over do our say own you are mistakes. very good. Eh? All those who got bought over said we are very good in acquisition. <laughs> <laughs> We, of course, we pay a good price. So that's why they will say that. <laughs> <laughs> there might be a difference of opinion from their side for this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you feel that My acquisition is best way of growth, quick growth? Of course, yes. It's a very good way of uh, quick growth. My friend Sudhakar is here. Sudhakar from uh, Devayani Exports, uh, uh, Constructions, Real Estates. And he's the one who roped me into dairy sector. So he made you buy that uh, factory? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you bought the factory for real estate and then you plan to continue with the business. The machinery there motivated you to do that? Yeah, no. Actually, he g gave me a carrot that it's a real estate value. Therefore, you can buy and do the business. So we said, okay, anyway, there is a real estate value which is basic there. We wanted to get into dairy. Said, okay, why not? That's how we started. Subsequently, you also got into juices. You are right. And Juices is also an expanding business model for you today. So now we have clubbed juice and dairy into one plant. So that we make both in the same plant. It makes our life easier. Subsequently, you also ventured into restaurant business. And that we closed. Because we need not have to succeed in all the businesses we enter in. So what has been your successful failure? Repeat. <laughs> <laughs> what has been your best successful failure? So restaurant is one. We got very early into mineral waters. We failed. So these are things, th those are the things I would say. There was a patch of time in India, there already is a patch of time in India where every entrepreneur wanted to become a developer. Any inclinations towards that as well? No, I never got tempted. <laughs> Your pets kept you busy. No, not like that. I think one of the, uh, this thing is real estate sector is completely, I, I wanted to deal with, uh, it's a project based thing. So it will take slightly, you need to move on one sector to another and build a brand image and this thing. I, plus, we didn't know the domain at all. We're very good at, we want to use always our distribution network. So we have a distribution network is a big asset. Whether I sell shampoos or uh, dairy products or pickles, everything can go into the same salesman and can go and give to the same shop. Here, I have to completely create a new this thing, which I don't want. So to. you don't want to do that. Day before yesterday, I met a very dear friend, thanks to my friend Vivek Mendonca, uh, the gentleman who was the creator of uh, Old Spice, Eric Menezes. And when I told him about you, he said that he is my guru for sales distribution and supply chain management. Oh. What is that different that you do compared to the others? And such a successful man saying this is a big deal. And I, I must thank him for giving liberal compliments. Uh, what we do differently is uh, we go on to small, small villages and have our representation there, small distributors. Across the country, we have close to 3,000 salesmen who sell our product every day. So they are all uh, uh, digitally wired. They have smartphones. They will take order only in the phones. And immediately, the order will get synced into the central server. You have got a great rural penetration, especially for your shampoo sachets. Mm -hmm. What is the secret behind it? Because it has reached even villages which don't have proper water. So, uh, one of the success secrets for that is we are the pioneers in terms of taking them. We went in vans and demonstrated how to use a shampoo. So we used to call with a mic, we used to call and demonstrate this is how shampoo to be used. And soap, what is harmful about so soap if you use it on the hair? 
and we demonstrate that and we make the I make it available in the outlet nearby we immediately give a lot of free samples to the people who come and uh, see the kind of demonstrations after that within about next four or five days later it will start moving from the outlet so this is how we used to market every nook and corner of villages we went about doing it how do you determine the percentage on your sales revenue to be spent for the advertising and marketing for further growth no it is not the percentage we determine we look at what is this product requires to succeed what kind of advertisement support required how do you so create your advertising it happens, budget sometime it happens when we introduce a product it will be 250% of the of the sales so it need not be percentage of 250% 300% 400% of sales is there a cap on your advertising expenditure no we know that for example all india if you are to launch a product we have to be ready with the 50 crore budget for advertisement alone so if you don't have that kind of a budget we should not be thinking of all india what is your learning curve for the development of new products how do you learn or how do you make a judgment or a decision on launching new products so very simple i told you know the either it has to be a significantly better product or a differentiated product otherwise we don't launch so somebody says okay i have also a shampoo this is equal good performance like the product is it no it doesn't stand a chance we go to customers we test it the customer should say that this is a much better product than what they use. Benchmark competition. So only then we will launch it. Have you faced challenges in supplying uh, materials across the inventory management across the country? Have you faced challenges? And how have you overcome those challenges? So because earlier it was planning, we will plan, forecast next three months stocks, what is the sales, therefore you produce, you may make order and do that. Now we all stopped it because that doesn't work. Every time you plan, your estimation need not come true at all. So the best way we have, we have come to is that whatever is sold is what will get produced in the factory. So the pipeline will automatically get coming quickly. So that way we, our, our fill rate, that is whatever order generated, our, we are successfully able to give to the market about 98 to 99% of whatever order generated by the sales team. So which is very important. Never in the forecast levels we are able to achieve this kind of a thing. How do you take advantage of such a large population by multiplying your turnover? How can you reach to them faster and in a bigger net? How do you do that? So it's two ways we do that. Because the India, I think we see always two India. The little India and the greater India. The metros are all greater India and the little India is the kind of this thing and completely different in behavior. So for, for example, the metro markets, We'll have products which are kind of thing. For example, milkshakes. Uh, we have a milkshake uh, tetra pack uh, at 25 rupees. So that is a kind of thing that we give in a, any milkshake somebody wants. Same thing. If you have to take a common man, go to the rural. We have a five rupee sachet of fruit drink at five bucks because they can't afford uh, 25 rupees drinks. Both will serve the same one level of uh, this thing. One one quench of thirst. It will be one, one kind of this thing, it will be sufficient. So it is 5 rupees to 25 rupees. We swing that kind of a thing. To how many members are there in your core team and how do you motivate them? Core team, we have about 31 members. So they are the kind of these things. And I think uh, the motivation comes from, if you look at, there is a kind of profit share is one of the ways that we motivate them. So every year company profits, increased profits. So that we share with them. Uh, there is a 13% of the increased profit every year, additional profit they make over the last base. It will be shared with the team, in addition to the performance incentives. What is the method of your vendor management? Pay them on time. Whatever credit time, we will try to get maximum credit, but pay them on time. That's a very important thing for us. Do you keep watching their quality when they give you credit period? Uh, we test for quality and then only we, we make uh, this thing acceptance of the product. So with this, uh, I think we come to an end. Mr. CK, that was wonderful. Thank you, Mr. Thanks Rajesh. Thanks, Sartan. It was very inspiring, very interesting.